In this video, we're going to look at how you can keep an eye of your oxygen saturation levels using a pulse oximeter device, and also how to use a diary to keep a record of this for various reasons, particularly if you've recently had a coronavirus infection or for other health issues affecting your breathing. You may have been provided this equipment by your local practice or healthcare team, as well as the diary to keep a record of these items, and the advice of what to do if your symptoms and health change. If, however, you need a diary, feel free to have a look at the links down below where you can download a generic version that you can use. In order to know your oxygen levels, you will need to use a pulse oximeter device that should have been provided for you, or you can purchase your own if you're concerned. Pulse oximeters can come in various shapes and sizes. This is an example of a pulse oximeter that is used at our practice. As you can see, it's a little bit bulky, but very accurate, and gives you different readings of the heart rate as well as the oxygen levels when used. More commonly, most people are aware of commercial pulse oximeter devices that look like these. These are quick and easy to use devices, they're very light, and you are able to source these yourself if you wish to. For the purpose of this video, we'll assume that you've been provided this device by your practice or local healthcare team. Pulse oximeters like these are devices that use light to measure the oxygen levels and your heart rate, typically on one of your fingers. I always get asked the question of which finger should I use with the devices. Some of the evidence suggests that using your thumb or your middle finger are probably the best. However, most of the pictures will show using your index finger. It doesn't really matter as long as you use the same finger ideally for most of the readings. Typical oxygen saturation readings that are normal are anywhere between 95 and 100%. For the heart rate, that can be anywhere between 50 to 90 beats per minute, unless you're on other medications or have health issues that change that. To check your oxygen saturation levels, you will need to first open the device and make sure you put the batteries in. Next, wash your hands, make sure you take off any fake nails or nail varnish that you're wearing because these will affect the results and make sure your hands are nice and warm, ideally at room temperature. And then rest for five minutes. Next, open the device and place your finger inside and then simply turn the device on. And when you do so, you should get some readings that look like that. Let's zoom in so we can have a closer look. And as you can see, I've got some fairly good readings there. The readings will change over time, and ideally it may take up to about a minute before you get a stable reading that you can then record, which has been the same for ideally five seconds or so. As you can see, my oxygen saturations are 100, and my pulse is approximately 90 beats a minute, probably because I'm filming this video. Once the results are stable for at least five seconds, please document the highest readings that you've had. Please take care to make sure you put the right readings in the right box on your sheet. As mentioned earlier, a normal oxygen saturation level is anywhere between 95 and 100%. If you feel seriously ill, or having shortness of breath even at rest, or if your oxygen saturation levels are 92% or less, you may need to contact 999 or go to the local emergency department. If you are noticing that your breathing has progressively been getting worse, that you are short of breath on general activity more so than you have been, if you're feeling significantly exhausted on simple activity, or if your oxygen levels are coming up between 93 and 94%, then you should contact your local healthcare team, provider of the device, or 111. Additionally, if you're having other health changes that you feel may be related to coronavirus or other issues with your breathing, please look these up on 111 or have a look at nhs.uk website. You may also be asked to keep a track of your temperature and other symptoms, like generally how you're feeling and other things. You do not have to do this, but it can be useful to have that information. Your temperature may change, and this can be managed with simple medication at home, like paracetamol or ibuprofen if you can take it. Additional symptoms like aches, muscle pains, changes in the sense of smell and taste should settle after two to three weeks of having coronavirus. You will be asked to keep the pulse oximeter device and keep recording for at least two weeks after your symptoms have started because your symptoms may change over that time, even if you start feeling well. Once you've reached the two week period, please return the device to your local healthcare team or GP practice, depending on the advice you've been given when you were given the device. Please check out the show notes below for further information about coronavirus, as well as other resources you may find helpful. Additionally, you can watch this video right up here that can give you more health advice in terms of simple things you can do. And YouTube is probably recommending this other video right here to you.